most African politicians, I'm very reluctant to use the word leaders when I make reference to most African politicians. They occupy positions of leadership, but they are not leaders, most of them. First of all, the intention with which they enter into leadership is the problem. They seek office because they love power and privilege and opportunity that it provides to them. They want to become wealthy and the easiest and shortest avenue to wealth in Africa today is public office. With the minimum effort, you become a multi-millionaire. They go there in order to be worshipped. And they go there not to do the right thing. And once they have been in office, they do so many wrong things that it becomes dangerous for them to leave office. So their continued occupation of office is also to ensure that they enjoy immunity that comes with office. But when you are a good leader who does the right thing, you do not fear to leave office because nothing has changed. And I've seen leaders of that ilk in, in, in this part of the continent. And there are quite a number of sprinkling of leaders who have left office and are doing great things. Joachim Chisano in Mozambique. Ifike Punye Pohamba in Botswana. People like uh, uh, my good friend, uh, Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete, Ali Hassan Mwinyi in Tanzania, Benjamin William Mkapa, Joachim Chisano, as I've said, of Mozambique. These are people who have left office and nothing is happening to them because they are men and women of integrity. John, John Mahama of Ghana. There are quite a number of them now across the continent who do not fear being out of office and they are doing great things once they leave office. But there are others who will never leave office because the day they leave office holding all factors constant, they ought to be arrested because they are thieves and murderers. These are the highest crimes known to man. How can they leave office? And we know them.